What's up YouTube and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 32. In the last episode, which was yesterday, we made our way here to Victory Road in a very simple, just kind of exploring, making our way, progressing episode where we talked about some updates for the channel. If you missed that episode, you can click just above my face on the iCard and it'll take you straight to that episode. In today's episode, we're gonna travel through Victory Road and make it to the Indigo Plateau. I don't think we're gonna do too much more than that. Depending on how quick it is, I have an idea of another thing that we can do, maybe. Actually, I, just, I said that and then I realized that probably not. So real quick, let's do a quick team recap because nothing has changed. And as you can tell by my shirt, it is the same day as we did this, uh, as we did the last episode, um, but it's just at night. So first up, we have Uriel, our Ice Normal Type Mew, holding the Sharp Beak with Flamethrower Cut, Fire Blast, Poison Sting, with good defense and good speed. Then of course, we have Lotus Loss, our Electric Psychic Type Hound Doom, with Pound, Waterfall, Spike Cannon, and Whirlpool. We discovered in the last episode that Whirlpool is actually super broken uh, with good special defense. Then we have Goliath, our Electric Dawn fan, holding the Amulet Coin with Horn Drill, Rock Slide, Shadow Ball, and Surf with good special defense as well. Then we have Ikaterine, our Steel Rock type Tyranitar with Thunderbolt, Swift Fly, and Double Edge with great special defense and speed. And then we have Erlinger, our electric or flying electric type Persian with Cross Chop, Sacred Fire, Dream Eater, and Thundershock with great special defense and speed. And then we have Sarah, our grass poison type Dragonite, holding the Twisted Spoon with Strength, Rolling Kick, Dizzy Punch, and Octazooka with great defense and great special defense. And that is it. So Erlinger, I don't know how long Erlinger is going to be alive, but we'll lead with Uriel as we go into the victory road now. The question of the day is going to be very simple. Which generation do you think has the best? Uh, which generation do you think has the best victory road? There we go. Ooh, an Elekid. That is extremely exciting because it actually evolves to the next level. Okay, so Uriel, uh, you want to poison sting and not kill it? I just attacked a bit. Okay, thunder. Paralyze. One more. Hold back. Alright, here. Go ahead and stay in this great ball. Go ahead and stay in this great ball right here. Hey, thanks. That's the way to start the episode. I kind of jumped into the episode. I kind of skipped over a lot of stuff. Um, blah, 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 blah. Today's been quite a fun day, and this week looks to be super fun. Uh, minus all of the stuff going on technology-wise. My technology absolutely despises me. Um... Let's go ahead and get a random name generator going. And then we'll name our Elekid. And we will uh, continue talking about... Uh, continue talking about Victory Road. So we have Elekid, the electric Pokemon. It loves violent thunder. The space between its horns flickers... Flickers... Oh, bluish! Flickers bluish white when it's when it is charging energy. I was like, what is that word? I was like, bluish is a word by itself. What? His name is Jag. Oh, okay. That it looks a lot easier when you break it down. So his name is Jagjit, or maybe Jagjit. I don't know. I don't know how to say that name. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So let's talk about some. Uh, let's talk about some elite fours while our Mew gets destroyed because he's weak. Um, so the first victory road. Uh, the first victory road is decently long, decently challenging. Moltres is in there. Uh, it does require strength to get through. And Rock Smash if you want to go back through it. Um, this uh, this Victory Road I don't remember so much, but it, I think it's just the simple the simplified version of that. Um, so between these two, I'd have to pick. Uh, 
I would have to pick red and blue because it doesn't even look like there's any trainers here. It literally looks like uh, it looks like just the the shrunk version of the camp of the red and blue of the first gen. That's what I was trying to say the whole time. That's what it looks like. So maybe that's the case. I know that in order for them to fit Kanto in here, they had to like shrink the game. Uh, they had to like really, really pack in the coding. So they didn't get to do everything they wanted to. Like I think we're already almost through. Yeah, we are. That's the ending of it right there. Hmm. Well, we can't just make that our episode, so I don't know what we're going to do because we cannot take on the Elite Four right now. We cannot take on the Elite Four right now. That's for darn sure. And if I stop to do a grinding montage, which it looks like I have some good things to grind against here. Uh, but... The next episode would have to be tomorrow because I'm I'm not a night person. Okay, um, so I know what's about to happen. We didn't even get to talk about Victory Roads. My goodness. So let's think about Hoenn's Elite Four. Uh, Hoenn's Victory Road real quick. Uh, oh, right. Evergrande. Hoenn's Victory Road is annoying. It is extremely annoying. Um, Diamond and Pearl's Victory Road... I haven't played it in so long. What does Diamond and Pearl's Victory Road look like? Hold on. Let me let me look this up real fast. Uh, Victory Road. Uh, Victory Road. What is it? Sinnoh? Let's see here. I just want to see the layout. I don't want to see all the trainers. What is this? This looks like it goes on forever. Oh no, there's actually a very easy route through that. And then what about, I know I'm not gonna remember uh, Unova's. Whoa. All right, so. Uh, okay, so I remember that one now. Um, so what else was there? There was, um, actually, you know what? What if I left it over here? Is that better? I can't see it, but I think that might be a little better for the, the, the camera quality. Um, for the lighting, at least. Uh, Kalos's victory road. Kalos had a great victory road, now that I think about it. Uh, and then Alola's victory road is really simple. So I'd probably take... Uh, first gen victory road uh, third gen would probably be the most difficult sixth gen was probably the prettiest victory road all right so let's go ahead and save here we go yo domino are you gonna are you going to the pokemon league don't make me laugh you can't beat them you can't even beat me nah no, nah, that was in the past that you beat me. This is the future. This is the present. You can't beat me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's battle, let's battle, let's battle. I am so scared. We're going to lose them on today, aren't we? All right, level 37. Uriel can handle this. Flamethrower. That did nothing. Metronome used substitute. Cool. Wait, why did... Oh, never mind, never mind. You gotta stop using that. All right, I guess a Chikorita. How about we go back to Flamethrower? I know that Cut is our more powerful move, but since we're holding the Sharp Beak, Sharp Beak powers up our Flamethrower. That's not very effective. Sonic Boom that does a lot more than twenty. All right, let's go with Cut. Cut did nothing. Spore, I'm asleep. All right, let's do that. Let's dip. Do I want to sacrifice Erlinger? Going to Erlinger. I guess if you can't beat a Chikorita, then you can't beat anything. You missed. All right, I'm gonna try not to hold the speed up button, but let's see how not holding the speed up button goes. Let's let's see how it goes. Hey, Erlinger got a, got his first win. 
I don't know why, but something about Erlinger just tells me that it's just not going to be a long for. It's not going to be around for long. Is this his ace? Level 42? Whew. Okay, that's super. Oh no. I want to hit my desk. I want to hit my desk so badly. You can't make that up. You can't make it up. What did I just say? What did I just say? I just said, I literally, seconds ago, I said, I don't know how long he'll be around. I'm a lower level. Okay, since it's, a, since it's counter, if I hit it with something that's not... Okay, alright, I have an idea. As long as I don't hit it with a physical move, we're okay. As long as I don't hit it... Not, not physical. As long as I don't hit it with a... Well, yeah, physical. <laughs> that's actually exactly what I meant to say. Oh, I knew I was going to lose Erlinger. I could feel it. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Meal tank, meal tank. All right, meal tank, hold this rolling kick. No, don't you thunder shock me. That was super effective. I couldn't tell. I'm paralyzed. A Caterpie? This is how you insult me, Bambi? You throw out a Caterpie against me? You know what? That's how I feel about your Caterpie. Mm. Hold that horn drill. Not very effective. I couldn't tell. Ha 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 ha. You had a shiny. I, I killed your shiny, so I win, right? Right? I killed your shiny, so I win. Right? Right? I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I'll challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. Hm, you keep at it until then. Maybe if you work on mindset. Maybe if you work on mindset. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. We have made it. How long, how far are we into this episode? 13 minutes? Woo! Are we just going to have a super short episode? Alright. Let me go in here. Let me deposit. <sighs> you know, Erlinger. I took you out because you had ground immunity and if we faced cross chop, I needed you to be there. And then you used cross chop and got countered and got smacked up. And look at your hit points. Why do you only have 95 hit points? Look at the rest of our team. 210. 204. 179. Even Uriel, 199. And let's let's go all the way down, because we, we are an inclusive group. 156. Sarah's the next closest with 156. Erlinger. I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Alright. How about we do this? This will be fun. We need to pick our next teammate. So let's go ahead and... Okay, there's only two things that can evolve anyway. Uh... Lattice Lass, why don't you... Why don't you just chill out just for a minute. Just for a minute. We'll withdraw. And we'll withdraw. Okay, and then... Did I pick up a stone? I feel like I picked up a stone today. No, I'm dreaming. All right. 
Shut up! Shut up! No one cares what you have to say! Ooh, there's a leaf stone. Do I have a sunstone? If I don't have a sunstone, that's what I'm using. Alright. So let's spend the end of the episode figuring out what these two new people would be. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to item give... Wait, I didn't get it. Ooh, I almost landed right on it. I land on the lucky punch. I need to land on the lucky egg. Okay. Lucky egg, give. Jag jit. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Switch. Hey, you sweet scent. Palitoed, palitoed. Uh, I really don't want to die. But I do have rolling kick. Oh! <gasps> Oh, broken. Okay, um, that's not good though, because rapid spin is very good. I'm scared. I don't want to die. If I die now, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, um, I mean, whatever. Let's just go into Goliath, I guess. Don't you, don't you cross chop me just because you know the cross chop is super effective. Is this really how the grinding session is going to go? Also, we got to figure out what level we're going to grind up to. But we're only going to get one level today. My controller is lagging. Come on. All right, Mill Tank, see ya. Cool. Cross chop. Oh, it's... Yeah, you're gone. No, Goliath, you're not supposed to grow levels right now. We're not training you, Goliath. Okay, that's annoying. Another Elekid? I didn't even check out Elekid. Elekid is a dark type, which means rolling kick will not affect it. But what type of move is... Alright. Let's just get out of here. Excuse me. Don't miss. We're about to face the Elite Four. We can't be missing. That's not something that's allowed. Okay, here we go. Jack Jit is evolving. We have found our sixth member to the team. Wow. Wow. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing that could potentially outdo that. Let me let me let me check Jagjit real quick. Stats. Jagjit, the electric ground type. That doesn't help my... That doesn't help my weakness to ground at all, actually. Let me go ahead and use this leaf stone. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit and it's never gonna be used. A sand slash, all right, we already have a sand slash. I shouldn't have used it, that was a big waste. All right, so. Julian definitely gets deposited. All right, let me, let's look. Let's look real quick. How, how much time are we at now? Yeah, we're at a, an episode's length. Weak to ground. Weak to ground. Not weak to ground, but that's a Butterfree. Like, that's all I'm saying. It's not weak to ground or anything, but that's a Butterfree. Not weak to ground. Okay, Nicodemos is a, is a, could be a consideration. No. 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 Like, normal flying, I guess that's not weak to 
I guess that's not weak to ground. I'll really have to think about it. But for right now, let's pick up Lattice Loss. I'll really have to consider this. So here's the squad that we have going into. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. This is a squad that we have going in. We have Sarah. So, so, so. I'm not going to do a full team recap at the end of the episode, but Sarah is grass poison. That's weak to ground, right? Or it's, it, that's neutral to ground, right? That's neutral to ground. Uriel, ice, normal. Wait. Hold on. I got to pull up a type chart. I, I don't know types. I don't know types. I don't know types. I don't understand this whole ice typing. You know how mad ice typing makes me? Ice typing makes me extremely upset. Ice takes two times damage from ground. Cool. No. It deals two times damage to ground. And ground is only one time effective. So Uriel is not weak to ground. Goliath, electric type, weak to ground. Electric Psychic, weak to ground. Ikaterine, steel rock. Ground does two times to rock and two times to steel. So it's actually four times effective on Ikaterine. Jagjit, electric ground. Ground does one time to rock to, to itself. So it's weak to ground. So I don't know how much I want to play around it, but it's something to think about. I would say this is a pretty cool little episode. We had ourselves a Charizard, which is always exciting. So if you did enjoy today's Pokemon Crystal, go ahead and hit that like button. In the next episode, we are taking down the Elite Four. We're going to figure out what levels we need to grind up to. There will be a grinding montage at the end of tomorrow's episode. After we take on the Elite Four. And hopefully we don't lose the luck. If we lose these five Pokemon that we have, or six Pokemon that we have right now, the lock's probably over, but we have a couple people that we that we won't let that happen with. Uh, we're going to try and be on par with the champion when we enter, or maybe just a little lower. Uh, my goal is to not be over-leveled, um, but we'll figure that out. Um, what else? What else? What else? Again, Digimon is on hold. I'm going to start replaying through it on my own time. I don't know when it's going to be back, but it will be back at some point. Also, the next Digimon Let's Play is getting ready to start, but that's a whole different story. Um, there's also another Pokemon Let's Play coming in uh, August, and it's going to be the first co-op, but that's another story. I think that's it. So again, if you enjoyed, go and hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new, and we will see you tomorrow for more Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.